In this video, we will learn how to find the area and perimeter of rhombuses and kites. First, let's review what a rhombus is and what a kite is. A rhombus is a quadrilateral, which means it has four sides, and it happens to have four congruent sides, just like this. A kite is also a quadrilateral that has two pairs of adjacent congruent sides, so it looks like this. where these two sides are the same length and these two sides are the same length. Now the perimeter of any shape is the distance around the shape. So whether it's a rhombus, a kite, or some other shape, to find the perimeter, all you have to do is find the length of all the sides and add them up. So for the rhombus, that would mean you need to know the length of one side and you can multiply that by four since all four sides are the same length. For the kite, you need to know the two different sides and you could add those up and times by two or just add up all four sides. Now for area, we're going to try to compare these shapes to a shape that we already know how to find the area of. So let's start by focusing on the rhombus. So here's a rhombus and what I'm going to do with this rhombus is draw in both diagonals. So the diagonals are lines, segments, that connect opposite vertices. So this is diagonal one, and this will be diagonal two. Now notice that I could draw little rectangles that sort of include each part of the rhombus, such that the rhombus, each part of the rhombus is half of each of these rectangles. So for example, if you look at this rectangle right here, the portion of the rhombus in the rectangle makes up half of the rectangle. Same thing for each of the four rectangles. The rhombus portion takes up half of the whole, the little rectangle. So that means if we think about this whole big rectangle, the whole thing all the way around, the rhombus is, has an area of half of that rectangle. So what's the area of that rectangle? Well, if we realize that this was our first diagonal, diagonal one, that means that this length right here on the bottom is also just diagonal one. Similarly, the height of the whole rhombus, which was really just diagonal two, is the same as this length here. So this is diagonal two. So the area of the rectangle is diagonal one times diagonal two because the area of a rectangle is base times height. And in this case, our base and our height are diagonal one and diagonal two. That means that the area of the rhombus is half of that. So the area of the rhombus is diagonal one times diagonal two divided by two. And that's because if you think about it in four sections, the rhombus takes up half of the rectangle in each section and therefore takes up half of the rectangle overall. Now, the formula for a kite is actually pretty much the same thing. We can also take a kite and draw in both diagonals, so diagonal one and diagonal two, and then think about drawing a rectangle around this kite. And we'll notice that the rectangle takes up double the area of the kite. So in each of the four little mini rectangles, the kite is half of that small rectangle. So overall, the kite is half of the full rectangle. So it's really the same exact formula. The area of the rectangle is still D1 diagonal one times diagonal two. So the area of the kite is just diagonal one times diagonal two divided by two because the kite is half of the rectangle. So the formula for the area of a kite is the same as the formula for the area of a rhombus. It's just diagonal one times diagonal two divided by two. And that's by relating rhombuses and kites to rectangles.